to a neonatal unit. As you all know, term babies and preterm babies can become jaundiced. Jaundice is a problem for babies because jaundice in the very early stages of life can be dangerous as the unbound bilirubin has the potential to cross the blood-brain barrier and cause uh, acute bilirubin encephalopathy and if not dealt with sufficiently lead to kernic terrors leading to choreoacetoid type cerebral palsy in the future. Let me consider a term baby, a baby who becomes jaundiced within the first 24 to 48 hours. We will be very worried as this baby could be having either a RH incompatibility or a AO or a BO incompatibility or a minor blood group incompatibility. Sometimes hereditary disorders like spherocytosis and G6PD deficiency too can give rise to jaundice within the first 48 hours. Beyond the first 48 hours, jaundice is most of the time thought to be physiological. So if a baby is jaundiced and we notice that he is clinically jaundiced, a serum, serum bilirubin estimation will be done. The so-called estimation then will be plotted in an appropriate bilirubin chart which will tell us whether the child is below the level of phototherapy or whether a child will need phototherapy or whether the child is above the level of phototherapy. Those who are within the phototherapy limits or just above the phototherapy limits will be brought in to the neonatal unit to ensure that phototherapy is commenced fast and will help to reduce the amount of jaundice in the baby. What we, have, we are showing you currently is a unit which is able to give double phototherapy. As you saw, there is a light on top and there is a light on the bottom. The baby's eyes are covered with a piece of cloth to ensure that the light rays do not fall in the baby and the rest of the body is open. If we are concerned that the child is dehydrated, then we would commence this child on IV fluids as well. After giving phototherapy for about six hours, then a repeat bilirubin estimation could be undertaken to see whether the bilirubin levels are either rising or whether they have come down as a result of the phototherapy that has been given. Preterm babies also are at risk of developing joints and this happens because of an immature liver. As you are aware, when a baby is born preterm, they initially have a very high level of hemoglobin. Once the baby is born and is out of the hypoxic uterine environment, with the abundance of oxygen in the outside environment, there is gradual hemolysis that takes place. With hemolysis taking place, bilirubin levels are bound to rise. And because a preterm baby's liver is immature, the liver is unable to uptake this bilirubin. And therefore, the bilirubin will remain in the circulation and make the baby jaundice. So, preterm babies too are at risk of jaundice and they are also commenced on double phototherapy if we think that the levels of their bilirubin are higher than phototherapy limits. In very rare instances, if we are unable to contain the rise in bilirubin by providing double phototherapy, such babies may have to be uh, taken in for exchange transfusions. The modern phototherapy units are very good and they are able to bring down the bilirubin levels dramatically by using it appropriately. So therefore, currently we do not undertake many exchange transfusions in the 
you need.